when I came to Ohio State, I didn't know exactly what I was going to think of it. Uh, like a lot of people, I wanted to get out of state, I wanted to go across the country. At the end of the day, I ended up coming to Ohio State, and from the get-go, I was really, really, really impressed. Um, I'm John Scott Morland. I'm from the Ohio State University, and I do research in relativistic viscous hydrodynamics. Uh, relativistic viscous hydrodynamics is a, a field of high-energy physics that uh, uses uh, the study of fluids to model uh, two uh, atomic collisions at extremely ultra-relativistic energies. I had a really excellent teacher my freshman year. It was Dr. Ura Kynes. I just enjoyed the way he taught his class, his passion for his field. I approached him a year after. Dr. Hines very warmly welcomed me aboard and instantly started flooding me with work. But it was the good kind of work. What we do is we look at the collisions between heavy nuclei, uh, gold, copper, lead, nuclei that we accelerate uh, down a beam path at facilities such as LHC at CERN or RIC at Brookhaven National Lab. The LHC is probably the largest scientific or research center station in Geneva right now on the border with France. Right now at CERN they're colliding particles and energies that have never been achieved before in hopes of understanding the early universe. We collide these, these ions, these heavy ions, and uh, these ions look like just kind of like baseballs, um, but when you uh, get them moving uh, quick enough um, at 99.99% speed of light, uh, these ions become Lorentz contracted due to uh, relativistic effects. They morph from spherical balls into pancakes, and then if you collide them at sufficiently high energies, not only do the atoms break apart, but the protons and the neutrons within the nucleus break apart. Quarks uh, escape, and you create something called the quark-gluon plasma. And what's interesting about the quark-gluon plasma is it's the state of matter that permeated the universe um, in its very infancy. What Heinz does specifically at Ohio State is he uses hydrodynamics, the mathematics of fluids, and he describes the quark gluon plasma using hydrodynamic expansion. Um, basically, that when you do hydrodynamics, there's a number of ingredients that go into it. You have to generate the initial fireball, then you have to generate the equations of motion by which the initial fireball expands, and then you have to generate a process by which you turn this fireball into discrete particles that fly out and hit your detector. So make a code out of C, and then you really model the two gold nuclei, and uh, you collide them in a computer simulation. And then you expand this plasma, this fireball, using a hydrodynamic expansion. One thing I always like to say, one thing I think is very interesting, is, is at these relativistic uh, heavy ion colliders, uh, if you were able to collide enough uh, uh, matter uh, at, at, at these uh, ultra-relativistic energies, if you were able to create enough quark-gluon plasma, you could recreate a mini-universe. Having a professor that people know and that is renowned that can vouch for you is absolutely invaluable. He used his influence to help me get into a German study abroad program called the Dea a Day, and I think those five months I spent at the University of Frankfurt were some of the most rewarding in my life. It was just absolutely wonderful to get to taste a future career I'm very appreciative of what Ohio State has done for me and what Dr. Hines and, and other people around me have done for me. I think I'm really lucky to be at a university where all this is possible.